Hey guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. So today we're going to be doing the final episode of our 100% item walkthrough on Dark Souls 3. So we're going to be doing the optional area, Arch Dragon's Peak. So uh, this is probably one of the toughest areas in the game. That's why uh, I recommend leaving it for last after defeating the Four Lords of Sin. This just before going to the final boss. And yeah, um, it's not going to be a long video, I guess, but it's it's not exactly a short, it's a normal sized area. So anyway, we picked up two items so far, pretty much in plain sight, that lightning gem up the hill there to the right. We're going to come back down, pick this, uh, ho pick these homeward bones up to the left of this elevator. So that's obviously going to be a shortcut for uh, a bit later on in the level. So we're just going to continue up the hill for now. Uh, near these rocks just here before the bonfire there's going to be a titanite chunk and the bonfire is going to be over here uh, on this piece of uh, earth just here beside this ember so make sure you don't miss that so we are now going to go the only route we can through this level this re this level is quite linear so you really get lost but there are a few things that you can miss quite easily so I'm going to pick these two items up one, one either side a soul and a titanite chunk then we're going to go through the main door main arch uh, before heading into the boss battle, over here to our right, there's going to be another Titanite chunk, and uh, we're just going to go over the top. So in this corner just here, there's a really easy, easy missable item. I nearly actually completely forgot about it. Uh, it's just here it's, uh, on this body, but the the blue glow uh, camouflages perfectly with the sun. So just be careful, make sure you don't miss that shield. Uh, also, before going in the boss door, we can go up to the left of the lever, all the way down here in this corner. To pick the lightning clutch ring up so uh, let's get to the boss battle or the first boss anyway because uh, this uh, area actually has two boss battles as you probably already know uh, so the first one isn't a real proper boss battle you can't well if you can technically kill him here but it'll just take forever so we're not going to do that uh, what we've got to do now is actually run away run away from him sorry and uh, to do that we're going to have to go to the left but there are three items down here to our right or his right and lastly on this path we can actually go round to the right of this balcony and uh, round here is going to be the ring of steel protection which is pretty cool and yeah so just go and pick them up I'm gonna be picking all the items up uh, as we go running away from him I'm gonna put it fast forward not extremely fast but just to get a move on because none of them are that hidden and most of them are in are in the in the middle of the path so yeah so there's nothing up here to the right there's one here to the left so just wait until the flames go past we're gonna go in the door one more time and pick this up I'm not sure if that was a drop I don't think it was but it could have been a drop hard to tell really but if it wasn't a drop it's not exactly hidden so don't worry too much about that uh, in this round room over here there's gonna be another chunk I believe just uh, try and try and sponge and tank as much as you can of the flames down this ladder here. There's going to be some twinkling titanite. Let's head back out up. Now we're going to go up the uh, stairs just here in front of us. Just remember, try not to stop, especially in the open areas. If not, you probably die. So I'll get into this area before crossing the final bridge to start climbing the wood things. We're going to uh, come over here to the left where all these enemies are. So once we're through this little tunnel, we can actually go up to our right or round to the left as I am just here and uh, at the top of this tower in this round area with the big enemy in it there's going to be two items one over here and one directly opposite of it which are some lightning bolts and uh, where the lightning bolts are as you can see you can just drop down to where we entered this area so this time we are going to continue to the final bridge so go across that try to ignore these enemies as well as you can and beside this guy with the shield, there's actually going to be a ladder. So uh, the way you kill this boss, I'm pretty sure you already know if, you're got, if you've got if probably been through this area or whatever. But uh, from this ledge just here, you'd have to go to the left and jump on his head and you'll instantly kill him. But um, we're going to cart this ladder first and go all the way to the end for these uh, Tweetland Titanites. And uh, yeah, so now we're just going to go ahead and go back to the ledge to kill the poor guy so this will automatically give you the the dragon head and uh, this is going to automatically teleport us to a new bonfire we can come back here walking if you are interested but if you did miss anything it's probably quicker to go back to just travel back to the first bonfire 
Uh, but yeah, so once we've done that and got teleported to our newly discovered bonfire, there's nothing really uh, much we can get lost about, but uh, just come into this building to our left. Uh, there's going to be a load of NPCs invading us. Well, not exactly invading us, but kind of getting summoned in. And I believe the first one you kill always gives you the the Drake blood sword. I could be wrong about that. Uh, somebody needs to confirm that. But anyway, uh, as you can see, I just um, did the gest the dragon gesture at the shrine there and got the calamity ring, which is um, a challenge ring since it you'll take double damage. Coming up this path, uh, directly behind that outer with the calamity ring, we're going to get two items, and now we're going to come out on the top floor. In, of the room we washed just in so i uh, continue in circling around the right hand side uh, we're going to find the lift which takes us back to the first bonfire like i mentioned before at the start of the video uh, so we're just going to continue back up go straight ahead and this time go out the right hand side of the room it's going to be a bit of an ambush here these two guys one either side so be careful they can spam like hell and pick up the item what's in there so before heading out this main uh, entrance at the top we're going to pick that soul up to the left of the entrance and now we're going to head out so uh, there's an item the other side of this gate but we can pick it up it's going to be Ornstein's uh, weapon uh, we'll be getting his armor later on too in this episode once we kill the boss but anyway coming through down here continue the, p the only path we can take until we get to this area with the wooden bit there's going to be a bit of a hidden ladder behind this column so uh, go ahead and climb that and up here we are going to find the thunder stone plate ring so that's pretty good against the boss of this area because most of his attacks are electricity so yeah so uh, once we're on this plank of wood as you can see if we turn around we're, we're just at exactly where we climbed the ladder so we haven't missed anything by doing that uh, in this room with the item hanging out of the roof uh, or sorry the window to our left is going to be a chest so now we just head out of this door. I think you can get the item hanging out the window by jumping too. But uh, this is the legit way of getting it. Which is coming up these little stairs here. And going ahead and just picking it up. Which is a so. So we'll get attacked by a similar dragon. But this one we can actually kill legitly. It's not even a boss. You could just run past it if you don't want it. But it gives you quite a few things as you can see just there. Uh, so yeah. So once we've done that just continue up here. Uh, try and run past these uh rock enemies whatever you want to call them they're just really annoying and pointless if you kill them there but yeah just continue through they're not going to follow us anyway so yeah so in this room there's going to be a mage and an npc uh kill him to get rickard's rapier so make sure you don't miss that another unique weapon right there we can head up that little ramp there but it will take us to a later area we're about to show you anyway so yeah ring the bell uh, if you're ready to fight the boss battle but we are going to continue uh, going through the level because uh, over here to our left is going to be the bonfire there's obviously the bonfire you want to be using if you're doing the boss so make sure you don't miss that uh, coming down from the bonfire continuing on through the level um, there's going to be an item here a soul in plain sight and coming down here below where the bell is there's going to be an ember just there so yeah just, just come back up uh, before heading to the right and facing Havel, we are going to continue up the hill and uh, go to the take this left path, which is kind of the only optional path coming up here, to get the ashes, which will allow us to buy Twinkling Titanite from the merchant back in Filing Shrine. So that's really cool too. Head all the way to the end. Um, use our dragon gesture one more time at this altar just here to get the uh, Twinkling Dragon Torso and uh, head all the way back down like I said before this time we're going to go to the left instead of going back to the bonfire to face Havel um, there's the little room you would be in if you did do the little ramp thing near the guy from Ricard's Rapier so it's kind of a bit of a shortcut but you completely lose the bonfire and everything so yeah just be careful with that kind of stuff open the chest whatever head up the ladder and uh, here we find our nice little friend Havel uh, I do want to point out if you do kill Havel here uh, you get his weapon and shield but if you want his armor uh, all you have to do is after defeating him here head back to where we defeated the stray demon in the swamp area in Faris's, Farron's keep and go to the stray demon like I just said and it will be really close to where we defeated him. So before heading towards the boss uh, before climbing back down these uh, stairs 
we can go to uh, the right where this broken piece of wall is and drop down here uh, continue around to the right hand side down these little stairs and uh, here we are having the miracle great magic barrier but yeah so now we're just going to go ahead and face which is probably what is probably one of the hardest bosses in the game but I actually did it first go I was actually pretty surprised at my luck skill I don't know whatever but I was really happy I did it first go this time around because last time I had a hell of a trouble with him anyway uh, tight night slab off to get killing him and finally Ornstein's armor which is going to be the final final item we pick up in this 100% item walkthrough so yeah guys, this is finally the end of the uh, walkthrough, or the item walkthrough anyway. Like I said, I am going to be doing, uh, probably starting right away now, and uploading it maybe later tonight, uh, a more detailed walkthrough, like literally doing as much NPCs as we can, when to uh, upgrade our weapons, and stuff like that. It will be live com, all the enemies will be alive, I'll be talking as much about everything as I can because loads of people have asked me details and maybe why this NPC isn't here, why this invader didn't invade me and a whole load of other questions which I will be commentating as much as I can and as much as I remember when I'm doing that walkthrough so if you're interested in all the details of all the enemies and all the items I'll obviously be doing a lot of the secrets if not all of them anyway but just live comment with all the enemies alive and yeah so if anybody's interested in knowing all the details to some of these things that they may not have known just because this is a pure item walkthrough where pretty much 99% of the level is cleared out anyway make sure you tune in for that um, and yeah guys thanks for the great support what's been on uh, this series it really does take some hard work there's been so much nights I just haven't slept to get this up as fast as possible and uh, the support has just been amazing like literally amazing and yeah guys i really really do appreciate it so yeah guys so if this was helpful please go a like and subscribe if you're not already remember you can follow me on twitter i just launched my first campaign of t-shirts too so uh so yeah if that goes well and people support that i will definitely be doing a lot more of them i think it's a pretty cool idea and yeah guys we will see you in the detailed walkthrough